there is a new one in best of one. Oi, oi, lads. All right, it's time to bring out the four sparring regimen white weenies. I mean, you kind of want Hallow Blade in this deck because it's so good with the sparring regimen. Let's go one redain, I guess. Well, you kind of want you kind of want two redains is the problem. Alinko, did you climb so slowly in best of one? It's absolutely crazy. I can't believe that you sometimes don't even get 1% for a win. It's friggin' fricked, let me tell you that. It is friggin' fricked. <clears throat> Any historic gaming today? We're just playing some best of one right now, man. Best of one standard. I kind of want to try my Crocs a deck in best of one. I think it could be good. Pass. Oh. Pass. Our opponent does not. <laughs> What are they doing, man? No attacks, no blocks. What the fuck? Now you can't cleave, man. If you cleave, you're just dead now. We take those. <clears throat> we take those all day, baby. What's the highest that you can reasonably get on the ladder in best of one? Can you get... Can you get all the way to, like, the top hundred? You can't, you can't really get much further than that, can you? Like, unless you're... Croaky bald, croaky bald, croaky bald, croaky bald. Or unless you're playing a deck that's like new and you've broke it, but why not? Because oh, you don't get as much points, right? Or you MMR, ELO, whatever their hidden system is, you don't get as much from best of ones, so it's not really possible. CGB got number one. Yeah, but just at the start of the season when there's only 20 players, right? Which is not to downplay his achievement. It's still insane to get number one at any time. But at this time of the month, you can't get number one and best of one. CGB got number one at the only time in the month you can get it. Which is... That's what it is. It's really hard to get into top hundred and best of one. I think it is, yeah. Well, I went, I went forty two zero with Winota, and I, I barely made it into the top hundred at the end of, and that was at the end of the season. <clears throat> the best of three things are just worth so much more. Ah, 
Alright, opponent's up a pega. Let me attack and get a free counter. We love to see that. Barring Regimen. Dude, this card is busted. <clears throat> this card is full bust though. How often are you stuck playing a third game though? Uh, best of three goes to three games like the vast majority of the time. I don't, I don't know the exact numbers, but I'm, I would guess at seventy five percent of the time at least you play all three games. Croaky bald, croaky bald, croaky bald. Oh, we got one percent for a win. Nice. Do you think you can adapt this deck to best of three? Uh, yes. If you want to adapt this deck to best of three, go on to MTGA zone and type in white. And then it's pretty, it's pretty good. I can tell you what the adaptations will be. The adaptations will be no sparring regiment and instead play apparition. And instead of having these cards in the sideboard, you play uh, some white cards. And But you play 15 of them instead of 7. And that will be your adaptations. That will be adapted for best of 3. Keep the Sparring Regiment? Well, you can't play Sparring Regiment in best of three, man. You need all your sideboard slots. You've already, you already lose a chunk of sideboard slots to Legion Angels, so there's no, there's no space, right? Sparring Regiment is really good, but I think you can. It's not, it's not better than Apparition in best of three. Is it not good enough without a learn? Nope. So they can, they'll be able to cleave if they draw one more land, but hopefully we can race them here. <clears throat> Alright, nice. Alright, nice. I mean, they're definitely not beating two of those because I can just keep both of my creatures untapped and they'll be too big. I can just block every... 
I can block every cleaved attack. Couldn't it be better to play two Legion Angel main to raise the consistency? Raise the consistency of what man? Oh, what this that this shit doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me because it's just not true. <clears throat> yeah, you get to draw your angels more often, but you also don't draw something else. Wait. Okay, we could do it with, I mean, best card in our deck right now is Snow Covered Plains. So it's pretty good that we, we run 19 of those remaining in the deck. Because I would like to find one. <coughs> Very cool. Yeah, that is an, uh, that's an aggressive good game from our opponent here. <clears throat> Incredibly aggressive good game. Do, do, do. Giant killer, huh? Can definitely make a case for keeping that giant killer, but I don't think so. Do not believe so. We can't take a lesson there because it'll just get discarded, right? Which is a big time Pepega. They're dead. Yup, dead. Rogues, rogues. I've only played against rogues once today, man. Rogues doesn't seem to be too popular, which is kind of surprising. Speaking of rogues. Speaking of rogues. Are we supposed to have like a main deck idol or a main deck sentinel's eyes? Maybe. One new buddy. Hmm, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But it really depends how popular rogues are. They don't seem to be too popular, but I've not played too many games yet. Patrick, thanks for 12 months, man. Appreciate it. It's very kind of you. Welcome back to the community, mate. It is an honour to have you here, a pleasure to have you here. It's wonderful. Wonderful. You've only gone ahead and brightened my day. Speaking of rogues, we found them. We found the rogues gamer. <clears throat> okay, this card... 
Is this card good against rogues? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. We're about to find out, aren't we? Crab is annoying. I didn't I didn't really want to see Crab turn one there, but because Crab lets them counter sparring regimen. Alright, never mind. Passage. Okay. Thanks, opponent. I appreciate that. In back in. Okay, nice. That's gas. <clears throat> Seasoned Hallow Blade Sparring Regimen. It's actually just unbeatable, man. <laughs> it's straight unbeatable for the whole meta. Not, guys, <clears throat> these kiddos are not ready for our strats. What's the score right now? I think we lost the first game, which was a mirror, and then we've won every other one. Don't worry, guys. I know that most of you are best of one gamers, but I've decided to dedicate an entire stream to breaking the format best for you. Best MTG stream a lesson three. Mm -mm -mm. On our 9-2, actually. We lost a game... Oh, yeah, shit. We lost another one to Sultai, actually, yeah. We lost early doors to the Sultais. One against Mono White, one against Sultai, and then... Uh, and nine wins. Great, now I'm going to have to play Brawl. Thanks a bunch. Shiny, why not? Thank you for the 20 months, man. I appreciate that, dude. That's very kind of you. Welcome back. You're going to have to play Brawl. <clears throat> Brawl's fun. I wanted to play some historic Brawl yesterday, man, but... What are you going to do? <clears throat> historic Brawl is illegal, apparently. How often do they bring out Historic Brawl? Is it like a once a month type thing or what's the what's the deal? Every six months. Okay. That's a scam. <clears throat> That's a scam. What are you gonna do? I should maybe have taken one of the two drops so that they can't go land double two drop, but I think it's fine. Because the 1-1 one, one token is honestly kind of annoying. But actually I have Redain, so their lands are all tapped. <laughs> Too good. 
Too good. Come on, opponent. Don't you want to attack? Come on. Don't you want to attack me? Alright, point goes to point goes all the way down to a pathetic two. GG's. Okay, we're almost a numbered best of one gamer chat. I've got to say, best of one players are trash. I'm not going to lie. Opponent's sequence in there was absolute dog shit. <clears throat> absolute dog shit. They played as if they were on the play. No defensive instincts. From the white gamer there. No defensive instincts. Protection from X is such an annoying keyword. Protection is, I mean, it's just it's busted, isn't it? Let's let's be honest here. It's friggin' busted. Mono green gamer. Could be could be a gruel, I guess. I don't, we haven't played against Gro, have we? What, I mean, what the fuck was that, dude? What the hell was that, man? He just took three damage for no reason. Magistrate is, uh, so far, it's 2 mana, 1, 3, discard 2. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> so if I have probation, I can get in for 3, hold up outside. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I mean, I kind of wanted to play the Redain Artifact, but I guess we can't now. A Crowan War. What a card. What a friggin' card. Oh, 
Why not Valkmira swing with Magistrate? Because then I kill my own Hallowblade. Which sounds kind of bad. Could definitely buff for day in there if you wanted. <laughs> wow. That's an ooze block. Okay. Terror of the Peaks. Okay, nice. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Top deck? What do you mean top deck? That opponent is playing a shitty creature. It's not my fault. Okay, we win again. 12-2 so far, I think. Doing okay. Kill strike. Thanks for the berries, man. I appreciate that. Shiny, why not? Thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Monkey, thank you for the seven months. Claimin Claimint Claimentinator. Thank you for the tier one, man. I appreciate that, dude. Breaking Gregor Grill. Thanks for the ten months, dude. Alright. Doggo, Aspirin, Regimen, Giant Killer, the Big Creature. That's an easy game. Uh oh. Uh oh. Claim gamer. No. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. I actually quite like Best of One, guys. I'm not going to lie. I really like Best of One. It is fun. So I think I think this might be... This stream might have more Best of One content in the future. It's just a good time, isn't it? You, you just have a good time. Okay. What the fuck? What a the fucker. That is not what I expected to see. Not even slightly. <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. GG's. I've got to say, chat. 
The entire best of one meta is just flopping over and dying to our deck. Just flopping over and dying. There's a new one in best of one chat. There is a new one in best of one. A competitor rises from the darkness. A competitor appears from the darkness. Rises is not the correct word. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we lost. GG. GG. Literal best card in the meta against my deck. That they've hit their one of Shadow Spear. What? Clerics? Dude. Get out of my face, man. With your clerics. Obey and cooperate. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, chat, we say kick W, but we're we're gonna lose this game. We are going to lose this game. Yeah, <laughs> top land. What a freaking joker, man. Whenever another cleric enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Whenever you gain life for the first time each turn, put a plus one plus one counter. So we kind of want to take the flyer, but at the end of the day, I mean, I can reg him and attack into the flyer next turn with my spellbinder. And also... Another reason to take the Cleric of Life Spawned is that if we take the Flyer, there's a chance that they can just cast both of these spells next turn, huh? With a land drop, which is a bit annoying. Because we kind of want them to play the Valkyrie, right? And then this Heartless Axe in their hand, and then we start getting counters on our creatures and their Heartless Act is dead. I might take the Cleric of Life Spawned, chat. Don't at me. Nah, I guess, I mean, I don't actually solve any problem with them drawing a land, because they could still just play... If I take Clerics of Life Spawn, they could just play Heartless Act and equip their, their Life Spawn, right? I think it's fine. Maybe, I, th I think if they didn't have a Shadow Spear in play, it would actually be correct to take the 2-drop. No attacks, dude. You have <laughs> no attacks. Yikes. What do you mean, no attacks, man? You fool. You absolute fool. I'm not going to lie though, I think we're dead. I'm not going to lie chat, I think we lose. <clears throat> Cause I can't, I can't like block, right? I can't block and use my doggo cause of this dumbass spear. At least not until we have our save, Nana. Or, I mean, maybe they tap themselves out before combat. That would be 
That'd be helpful. I mean, that works. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. <clears throat> Ooh, very interesting. Very interesting. Horsemanship <coughs> claims another victim. Okay, so lucky. So incredibly lucky. This is a hard game, chat. This is a very, very hard game. <clears throat> Don't want them gaining life. How many counters am I putting on the Alcea tier? I mean, you could make a case for both 1 or 0, honestly. I guess I put the Spiron Regimen counter on it to untap and allow a block here. Two? I think it's one, right? Give it Vigilance, nice little two lifelink. Give us a block. Dodge Heartless Act. And our Spellbinder should hopefully be big enough to just win next turn. We can get past any flying blockers. Revitalize! Okay. I didn't play around Revitalize. That feels bad, man. I didn't play around that. What are you going to do? Your spell will be countered if you do that, mate. And now you're dead. Because you didn't equip your Shadow Spear. Brilliant. <clears throat> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. There's a new one in best of one in town. I like it. Smile. Strictly the wrong smile emoji. <laughs> Why not playing best of two? <laughs> the best of two sounds answer. good. It really is. Best of two sounds gas. <clears throat> like just always one player gets a go on the play, one player gets, and then you get one go on the play, one get, go on the draw. I mean, a lot of matches will be, will be ties, but like the wins will feel good. I think best of, best of two sounds like it could be the nuts. I wonder how the, what would happen to the ladder if it was best of two. <clears throat> It's kind of interesting. I, 
think you'd have to have the seven card sideboard though, right? Or else like the person who's on the play in game two would have a massive advantage if it's after sideboarding. So you'd have to have the best of one sideboard, right? The opponent is playing not Yorian Yorian. No Yorian Yorian. Good morning from the Great America. I mean, it kind of looks like potentially just a Simic Gamer. Potentially full Simic Gamer. Is opponent just ramping to like... The comas? Is this a deck chat? Am I supposed to know what, what I'm playing against here? Yeah, it's rampant coma. That doesn't massively surprise me. Shark. <laughs> that why like why so greedy, man? <laughs> why? What is this block? <laughs> what is this block, man? <clears throat> Come on. We win again. Yeah, that was a bit of an order. They should have played their Cultivator first and then Scry right with the land. How much mana is Coma? Seven, right? Three, two blue, two green. But we haven't lost a game in years. Look at that. That's, that's, that's decent, isn't it? That just looks good. Is that, not, is that not just pretty? Just the casual tenno from 95% all the way to an incredibly high numbered gamer. What do I think of Selesnya and Historic? It doesn't use any of the best cards, so it's shit. Gruul on the play, huh? Gruul on the play could be tough. It's, I mean, if we don't draw a land. If we do draw a land, I think it's likely to be okay. They do get to play their Bone Crusher here, though. Never Draneth Magistrate, man. Talk about being the unluckiest gamer alive. Name all the best cards then. Looting, Brainstorm, Cling to Dust. Arcanist. Memory Lapse.
Harvest. Fatal Push. Uh, young Peasers. Scavenging Ooze. Soul Guide Lantern. Many decent ones. Arcanist is so good that it's bad. I mean, actually true. <clears throat> Not fake and true. Eduardo. <clears throat> Eddie's a decent card. Alright, chat, we're in trouble, man. We are in trouble. An attack from the gamer, huh? An attack. Very interesting. <clears throat> Alright, let's give it our best shot, team. Sadly, opponent gets to draw a card every time they cast a card, but... Apart from that, we're doing well. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of the token buffer. I, th I mean, I think the artifact's great. The artifact is full gasoline. I think it's like this. We don't really want to go to Giant Killer range. Our Hallow Blades are more than strong enough here with the Indestructible and the, and the Valkyrie artifact backing them up. They go to two, man. To two they go. Okay. I pass your go, mate. Going to two is a little, it's a little bold. I'm not gonna lie. The funny thing is, like, so they can stop the, like, the protection for a turn, but only with stomp, right? And if they use stomp, then the magistrate will stop them actually casting the bone crusher creature. So it's not the end of the world if they have a stomp. They had a giant killer. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to play around another giant killer, though. Man, I guess it's kind of free to play around it, right? Just buff, buff my aspirin here. <clears throat> Alright, let's start. Let's start slaying these beasts. Is that deck run cleave? Nah, they don't they don't normally run cleave. I mean they might have a cleave in best of one, but best of three versions this has no cleave.
what I would give for this Eddie to just be dead. Why can't it just be dead? This is great banter. <laughs> it really is. Dranith fucking magistrate. What a card. <clears throat> what a card. Go on, lad. Play the love struck. Oh, having, having some troubles over there, are we? I see. I see. Okay, good game. Bug! Judge, I can't cast my spells. Ecuador! Ecuador! <laughs>